Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome back to Follow a Sketch February where we are on to day 18. Follow a Sketch February is of course from Sandy aka State Goddess at Scrapping Reflections and today's sketch is this one here which looks to be from Stuckham Sketches but please do visit the Facebook group where full details of who has created the sketch is there. Now it looks like we have a mixed media background with some strips of pattern paper, some paint splatters, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we've got like a stitched circle, two photos and whatnot. Now I'm not going to lie, when I built this page kit, I clearly didn't look at the sketch very well because I have put loads of stuff in here and I don't really know why. Like, I mean loads of stuff. <laughs> um, we have got all sorts of stuff going on. We have got loads of ephemera and frames and tickets and stuff. We've got these stitched frames. We have got acetate frames. We have got oh, chipboard frames. We've got tickets. We've got circles, tabs, flags, banners, circles. We've got this envelope. We, I, 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 I just don't know what I've done. We've got wood veneer, we've got felt, we've got chipboard, we've got this big piece, we have got, oops, I've clearly used 49 and market, some stickers, we've got title, we've got this piece and this piece and loads of paper, like loads and loads of paper. What was I thinking? Can somebody tell me please? Um. <coughs> So I'm not going to be using all of this, that is for sure. Um, I need to decide whether to use that as the background or that, and I think I've already decided to use that. Yeah. Um, so I don't know why I brought these three papers in. I, I literally can't remember what I was thinking. Literally. So that's going to be one of our strips. That's going to be one of our strips. That's going to be one of our strips. That's going to be one of our strips, and that's going to be one of our strips. So these papers, I'm just going to put straight back in the pile of papers that I'm using for page kits. And we'll talk no more about my page kit skills. Um, I do need to make some more page kits for 30 days of sketches onwards. Let me know if that's something you'd like me to do on camera, or whether you're not bothered, um, and we can look at that. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna do. Some of this is, all of it is 49 and Market, apart from some of the scraps and the alphas. It's from various collections, including Vintage Artistry Wherever, and yeah, a few other collections as well. So I need to decide what we want to do. So I would like to use one of these. These stitched frames I couldn't get anywhere and my lovely friend Kathy across the pond sent them to me. So I would like to use one of these and I think I'm gonna use it for this photo. So what I am going to do is stick that in straight away. Do, do, do. So let's put some adhesive around this frame. Very simply, nothing special, and it's going to go about here. I'm going to put it so that the top and the left side is hidden, and then we only have to focus on the bottom. And I'm simply going to cut there and there and we have one of our photos framed nicely sorry i don't know why i'm so far right we have well i do because things have changed again getting ready to do a craft room tour and i'm sorting things out and then i watched a video from sandy the other day and she's sorting her die cuts out and now i've started doing that and yeah why did i do that can somebody tell me i don't know so on the sketch, the two photos look square. I'm not using square photos. I am going to use a big photo and a smaller photo. And then we're going to layer up 
all of this behind our photo. So let's do that first. So I'm just gonna put those out of the way and I'm gonna do what I always harp on about. And we're gonna do some layering before we stuck to the photo. So let's get all of our pieces ready. So we've got our photo, photos. So what I'm gonna do is, I want to see, can that fit in there? Yes. So, do, do, do. I am going to stick this envelope pocket, whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna have some adhesive there, there and there, get rid of that adhesive, then fold this back and we're going to stick this onto this little piece here, sort of to the left, try and get it straight-ish. So that is our first piece, then I'm going to tuck this photo in there like that. So that is going to be our first piece. <coughs> Then I want this stitched piece, so I'm just going to put some adhesive on the bottom right piece and pop that on there. Let me just remove that for a minute. I want to stick that a bit further up, like so, just so we can see some of the stitching at the top. Then I want to create a little thing, well no actually, so our photos are going to go like this, so let us, do, do, do. it's just trial and error really, so we're going to use a couple of these tickets, staple them together. So it's a bit junk journal -y vibes going on. And then let me get a foam pad. And just stick a couple of foam dots on the back. Four shall be enough, I think. I don't have nails because I insist on biting them. So this always takes forever. I know I could use tweezers, but why make it easy? Okay. Then I'm just gonna stick that over there. Now I've purposely left a gap on this side so that we can tuck our photo in once I've decided where that's going. And I'm actually taking this off for a minute because I want to tuck this frame in there as well. So let's stick that down. So now we have a little cluster going on here with the frame and the tickets. So that is our first bit. Let me just refocus that after me messing about. There you go. Then I quite like the idea of that going down there. So let's pop that along the bottom. Might need some glue there, we'll see. So now we've got ourselves a whole little cluster here and we've not even stuck it on our layout yet. Then if we add a bit of adhesive there, tuck this under there. Oops, a daisy sort of like there. Now we have our full photo cluster going on. So we'll know when we come to build our layout and our strips of pattern paper, like on the sketch, we'll know roughly where we want to put stuff. I want to add a bit of color behind this photo, so I'm gonna add a bit of adhesive there and there. And let's add that frame in there so you just got to imagine imagine it whilst you're building up this sort of big cluster that you've got going on I don't want to use all of that but I do want to use a little bit 
just to add a bit of extra texture and interest to the whole thing. Uh, need to move that down a bit. So that can probably go about there. And then I'm just going to layer up another piece of it. So we've got oops, the torn element. Let's pop that behind there. So now we've got that going on. And then I'm going to do the same with the remnants, but on the left. So sort of like there. That's just going to go in the bin. So I don't have time to keep that. Now, if we bring this back in, you can see that when we put this back on, we've already got the bulk of our layout done. And we've not even looked at our background or the paper or anything like that yet. And I'm not finished just yet. So we're going to keep on adding. I'm going to add this frame here. Like so. Let's add this little tab up here, sort of like that, then do, 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 do. I'm going to add a little frame there, except I put lemon adhesive on the both sides there, but that's okay. So that's going to go there. So you can see we're just building up all of the different clusters and texture to give us lots of interest. I do want to make sure I don't make it bigger than 12 inch because that would be a disaster. So now we've got a very large sort of cluster going on. Does anybody else create their layout like this? Or is it just me and I am a bit strange? I don't know. Probably. It's just me and I'm a little bit strange and that's okay. We're all different. That's what makes us unique. And then... Do, 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 I do want to add one of these wooden clouds from Redefined Creative. So I'm going to add that there as well. So you can see there is a lot going on on here. We've got tickets, frames, stitched frames, acetate, wood veneer, chipboard, pockets. Remember this photo still comes out and is still a pocket. So you could still add more photos there should you wish. There is loads and loads going on. So, now I remember why I put all the embellishments in. Still don't remember the blooming paper, but... We are going to use some of these. These are all chipboard stickers. Now, tip when you use these, technically you've only got two frames here. You've got this one and this one. But I would still use this black one as a frame. And then this middle bit... I would use as a layering piece so don't throw it away and think oh I've got two frames there because you can use it all so let's bring in our paper I am going to do um, probably one inch strips and we're gonna sort of go blue other color blue other colour blue and then we'll have the clouds at the top so it's going to be something like that <clears throat> and I am probably going to trim them to one by one two three four five six I'll probably do 1.5 by 11 so let me go and trim those and I will be all right back so that is all the strips cut and adhered down. In the end, I decided to go for wonky. You know, embrace the wonk and all that. I just thought it kind of worked better and it's also going to stand out better behind our cluster that we've built. So if we bring that back in, this is it, if you recall. 
Now what I've done is I've put this orange strip down here just to bring the orange from this acetate down to here, sort of carry it through. Same reason why I've put the dark blue down here, cloud at the top and so on. So it all kind of works together. So I'm going to put some adhesive on here. I'm just going to kind of go quite random throughout there, like so. And then we're going to stick that about there, like so. And remember, this is still a pocket. <coughs> Excuse me. So you could still add more photos in there if you wanted to. So that is the basics of this layout done, really. It's following the sketch, kind of. I haven't done the circles at the top and the bottom. And that's okay, I don't feel like we need them. Now, looking back at the sketch, my photos are bigger, my strips are bigger, everything is bigger, so I can't put the title where it is on the sketch. So what I was thinking is, I might put the title just below here, and the title is North Wales. It's Explore North Wales, so I'm using these alphas, which are American Crafts Thickers from Jen Hadfield. And they are navy blue, and I have to say, they are my favourite alphas ever. Don't know what it is about them, I just absolutely love them. I bought about five packs when they came out. So we're still wading our way through them, and I'm not even sorry I bought so many, because I used them. That's also one of the good things about the page kits. i found that I have been putting titles on my pages a lot more. And then we have this Explore which is a 49er Market chipboard piece, and I am going to put that on the edge of this frame, just about here. So then our title becomes Explore North Wales. I will put a foam dot under there, just to give it a bit of extra addition. Now I do want to use a couple of these chipboard pieces, and I'm simply going to tuck these in. So we're gonna have this one, here the bigger larger one i think we'll have at the top so let's see maybe behind here so we're just continuing building up our cluster by adding in the frames wherever we think really and then i'm going to add this black one in which is sort of like the negative of the frame, if you like. That's going to go there. And I'm going to add this just because it's there. It seems a bit silly to put it in my stash. So let's pop that just under there, like so. So we've kind of gone off piste with the sketch now, and that's okay because it has certainly inspired the layout, and that is what it's all about. I'm going to add a couple of wood veneer hearts just to continue that sort of nature natural theme that we've got going on so i'm going to put one on each photo cluster and i think i want to bring in some of these shells so i'm going to sort of create a little cluster with those two and then let's bring in this epoxy one as well. And then this one, actually, I might pop under there. That will give us a little bit of... I like that, actually. And then I'm going to layer up this beachy sign with these tickets. And I'm going to layer up this boat, chipboard boat, with this frame and ticket up here. Kind of works because we're at the beach, we've got lighthouse, blah, blah, blah. Now, I do have lots of other bits and pieces, but I don't feel like I need any other pieces, to be honest. I'm going to add another heart. We're going to overlap that there, and let's do the same on this other one. You can use a heart anytime, can't you, really? There is no limit to that. And then we're going to add in one of these X's, which is from Vintage Artistry Everywhere. And X's, crosses, whatever you want to call them, they are one of my favourite. 
embellishments. I don't know why. They just are. And then I think we'll add one more of these clouds, but that will be it. Sort of tucked under that one. Now I did have some felt clouds as well, but I'm not feeling it with them. I do have this word strip, which I'm going to layer up up there. That just says go see do. And then that is going to do it for that. I'm not... Mm, yeah. Then over here we've got these enamel stickers, which I am going to use. They're like enamel dots, so I'm going to treat them just like I would enamel dots. We've got three going there. Let's have three down here. Let's have three down here. And let's have three up here. I love 49 and Market. They're called trinkets and wishlets. No, what are they? <laughs> They're not called that. Bubbles and trinkets. Don't know what the hell I just called. <laughs> I'm going to add that one there. I'm going to use these. Now, these are a couple of washi tape stickers. Let's see if we get them in or not. Yeah, that can... No, I don't like it. I did buy the washi tape stickers from the Travel Collection, and I'm not sure... I'm not sure whether they add anything, if I'm honest. I'm going to add these compass epoxy stickers there. And let's add a couple down here. Sort of like so. And then to finish us off, we've got three more. So I'm going to add one on the cloud that says hello. One down here that says view. And one up here that says see. And that is pretty much it. I think we will add some splatters to finish us off. So let me just... Pop this here so we don't get them everywhere. And look, I can just stretch up here and pull out all my sprays. Can't wait to show you the new layout. It is, I have to say, so much better. I say that every time, but it is. So we're just going to add some of the gloss spray here. I've got Dina Wakely Media Gloss Spray in Marine. And I have Dina Wakely gloss spray in white just because we've got quite a lot of colour there so I feel like white will stand out quite nicely <coughs> excuse me and just give us that sort of messy feel a little bit there we go and then we will turn our layout and do the same there now I've just noticed I've got some on the photo not ideal but it's fine no use crying over spilt Dina Wakely. That can go back in there. And just a few on here. I really need to learn to cover my photos is the moral of the tale. Do we think I will learn? No. And that is the finished layout, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed sort of the walkthrough part of building up a cluster on your page with your photo without actually getting any of your paper out. I always find that it gives you the opportunity to build from the photo up, which therefore ensures that the photo remains the most important part of your layout, which of course, doesn't matter what embellishments we use, that is the most important. So that is it for today. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you will find the playlist for everybody else playing along on YouTube. And I will be back tomorrow for day 19 where we enter the last 10 days. How did that happen? Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. It really, really helps and I really appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.